Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome back once again to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name's Mark Love. Uh, we've got another little blast of winter on the way in, so we're gonna try to get this done before the snow starts flying. What I have for you today is a 2022 Baystar Sport 2813. It's a slight variation on one of the other uh, older floor plans they had, the 2812, and uh, I'll show you that a little bit inside. But first off, let's talk about the new V8 motor. Uh, Ford came out with a new motor to replace the V10 Ford, which used to be the staple of the RV industry. Let me uh, get this up. So the nice thing about the new V8 is it, it's a big block engine. So we're up to 350 uh, horsepower and 468 foot-pounds of torque. So you have more torque, more horsepower. It'll get you up the mountain a little bit faster. Now, keep in mind this is a gas engine, so don't think you're gonna fly up there towing your Jeep at 55 miles an hour. But the fact that this model is only 28 feet, 10 inches long, on a 20,500 pound chassis means it's lighter than a lot of the other gas motor homes. So with this V8 engine, you are gonna get up the hill better than most of your gas engines. Uh, now, there's a hatch inside if you need to access the top of the engine, but from out here, you can access all your fluids. You see you have your, your dipsticks up here for your transmission, your oil, uh, coolant over here, these batteries you see, actually your starting battery is over here, and these two are your house batteries. They put them up front here for you. Uh, you do have a, an oil cooler down there, uh, hydraulic fluid, this is windshield washer fluid. Everything is easy to get to when you're just doing your, your routine maintenance, getting ready for a trip. And this V8 engine has gotten great reviews. I think Ford is going to use it for a long time. Let's take a walk around the outside of the coach here. First of all, we've got a 19-foot awning, as you can see. This is motion censored, so if the wind picks up too much, this may close on its own, which is what you want. If you're going somewhere and your awning's out, close it. Never leave it open when you're not there. But if the wind picks up before you can get it closed, it will shut itself. As we walk down the side here and look at the storage compartments, uh, in this first one, you notice we have our inverter back there behind that panel. And then over in this other one, we've got our fresh water tank. Uh, this is a 75-gallon uh, fresh water tank with your low-point drain, master drain, right there. do have a little storage here that also passes through on top. So if you've got fishing poles or longer items, uh, you can get them in there easily. Another storage compartment here. This one has an input for your TV. If you want to bring a, an extra TV and set it up outside, you've got your 110 plug right here. And again, you can see it's kind of a pass through. That's a little more helpful in the back area, actually. Right here's our 5500 Onan generator. Now, a typical base star sport is going to be a 30 amp service with a 4000 watt generator. This has the upgrade package. What you get with that is two 13.5 air conditioners with the heat pumps in them. You go from a 4.0 to a 5.5 uh, Onan generator, and it also goes from a 30 amp power cord to a 50 amp power cord. So some nice upgrades, uh, especially if you're gonna be maybe dry camping, it's nice to have that bigger generator if you wanna run both air conditioners at the same time when you're not plugged in. And then over in this one, you can see through there where you do have that pass through. So again, maybe you're carrying a little giant ladder or fishing poles or some longer items. You've got room there. You could even store your, uh, your lawn chairs and things like that. Around here in the back, really nice looking cap, frameless, tinted, dual pane windows in here. Uh, 5,000 pound tow hitch. And you do have your seven way plug right there. Pretty standard for a gas coach. 
As we move around here on the driver's side, this first compartment here, you can see we've got the, the 50 amp cord, the heavy one, and uh, in there also is your transfer switch with the surge protector. Each compartment has its own light. Move up to this one, and again, just another storage compartment, but on these smaller coaches, storage becomes a premium. And it's amazing, both outside and particularly inside, where Numar adds little storage areas that you'll find very useful. We move, move over to our water closet here. And as you can see, we've got our low point drains there in the back, our freshwater city connection. We do have a black tank uh, rinse there. Uh, our, our main drain over here to run your sewer hose off of. And another thing I'll point out, these right here on your tanks, they're called the true level. What it is is uh, they used to use probes that go through a tank. And in your black tank, toilet paper and things would hang up on them and give you a false reading. This does not give you a false reading. It senses through the outside of the tank what your level is. Okay, up here we have one more storage area. And this is your uh, winterization bypass kit. So when it comes time to get the water out, put the antifreeze in your lines, if you're the kind of person that does that yourself, very easy to do it with that winterization kit. And this last compartment over here is our propane tank. And this is a 25 gallon propane tank. That's actually very large. Now your generator is going to run off the gas, off the fuel tank. So this is your furnace, your water heater, uh, you know, cooking and so forth but you could stay out in the woods a long time with this tank probably go a week or more under normal use and not have to worry about running out there are three three-way cameras here so you get the side monitors on both sides plus of course the backup monitor makes it easy to see what's around you uh, you feel real safe when you're driving this let's go ahead and move inside and take a look at the floor plan. Now, first off, when you move in, get a shot of that floor. This is a new color. This is called Stealth, and it has the uh, Arctic maple cabinetry here. But it's a great looking color, uh, you know, kind of a gray tone and lovely back splashes there. Numar just does a great job when they come up with their color palettes and, and what they put in these coaches. I really like this new color. As we uh, move up to the front, the passenger seat here has a nice little work table. So as you're going down the road, if you want to put your laptop here or uh, you know, work a crossword puzzle or something, you've got a nice place for it here. Also, we have a table here in the middle. And uh, by the way, of course, both of these will pivot around and face the living area. And then what we have here is a nice little table right in between your chairs. So. You can pivot your uh, front seats around, use this as an extra table if there's five or six of you in here eating dinner. Just a, a real handy little setup here. And it actually goes up and down quite easily. And then over here, this is kind of a typical Ford Dash if you've ever uh, driven a Ford. Uh, one thing I do like over on the side here, you have your battery boost, your generator start, your fans for the overhead, your dome light, and now they even have a uh, cell charger here on their gas uh, on their gas motors. And of course, you've got your equalizer system, your auto levelers right there. Very easy once you get set up to level your coach. 
Overhead here, you've got your video components. These are your breakers and fuses. And over here, you have a little bit of storage. And then uh, right here above the door, these are your monitors and your switches. This is your master uh, battery, house battery disconnect right there. Turn your water pump on, you have your awning lights, awning, and like I say, this is a wind sensor that'll shut on its own. Your main slide out control, your step, if you want to lock that out, <coughs> excuse me, so it's not continually going in and out. And then your water heater, which is gas and electric. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, uh, here's a nice feature. They've kind of reversed the, the dinette and the couch. Of course, you do have uh, your televator there, and it's right across from the dinette, so it's a, it's a great place to have it. This dinette easily converts down into a sleeper. It'll drop down, rest on these cleats. You fill it in. There's actually a cushion in the back under the bed to fill it in here in the middle. But if you've got some extra gas or a couple of kids, you could get two small kids here. And then over here, we have a pull-out couch. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate this for you. Remove your cushions here. And then this simply pulls out A nice mattress there and this comes down and these foam pad mattresses I actually prefer over the air mattress they're very comfortable it doesn't take any time to blow them up and to deflate them when it's time to to close it up it's really easy to get in and out and if you've got somebody that's much over six foot I guess you can lower this one and let his feet hang over if you need it then to put it back into a couch very quick and easy. Make sure that gets tucked down in there good. And then these all Velcro in. And there you have it. Okay, let's get back to the storage I was talking about. Here is a nice overhead cabinet. It's open all the way through. And this is about 16 inches deep. Uh, I like to show people how much room you have there. I think this is a 14 inch plate and it easily fits in there. Shoot, these may even be 20 inches deep. There's plenty of room here. Of course, this is all your manuals, warranties. Uh, you know, if you have any questions on your systems, all the information is right there. As long as, my, as long as I'm over here, let's talk about your kitchen a little bit. First of all, you do have a nice big microwave, and a rarity, this one has an oven. You don't see these in a lot of motorhomes anymore. And it's a, a nice three burner stove. You have four full pull-out storage drawers here and all of these have the soft close feature even in their in their entry-level gas coaches Numar builds and features you're not going to find in other coaches uh, like those soft close drawers solid surface countertops typically at this price point you're going to find a laminate countertop in most of your gas coaches here we've got another very deep drawer for your pots and pans and so forth and this little compartment I thought you know you can find out something to store there but then I realized it's actually made to put your sink covers in so when you are cooking and using your sink these get out of the way there you go and then we do have our uh, double stainless steel undermount sink, very deep, a residential style sprayer here. 
You also have a lot of storage underneath, nice and open. And then you also get a nice flip up extension here. Over across from the kitchen, you do have your, uh, we call it a camp refrigerator or your typical propane and electric refrigerator freezer. This is a 10 cubic foot, I believe. People at dry camp actually sometimes prefer these over the electric residential refrigerator. Once you have a cold uh, with your propane and your 12 volt battery, it doesn't take much to keep these cold for a very long time. And right beside it, you have a little pantry area. Beside your pantry, a little more storage with a place to, to hang your coats or some of your other clothes. Okay, let's move back into the bedroom. Now, one thing about a 28 foot, 10 inch motorhome, obviously that's a short one. Anytime you're under 30 foot, uh, the bedroom and the bathroom area get a little bit smaller and closer together. I'm going to show you that right now. First of all, oh, by the way, you do have another wardrobe here as we're moving toward the bathroom. A little storage up above. And again, three nice storage drawers there. This is your bathroom, and let me just open up these and step out of the way. It's kind of amazing how much storage they build into this. That shower has a one-piece fiberglass surround. Plenty of cabinet storage in there for towels and other things. And then you have a very nice medicine cabinet here. One for him, one for her, and then storage underneath also. Again, a stainless steel undermount sink with a nice solid surface counter with enough room to get things up here. It's not so crowded that it's awkward. As we step out here, I'll talk about the bed a little bit. Now, this is a slide out. So as the slide comes in, this bed actually folds up and over. But you can see we have storage under here. There, of course, is the cushion I talked about when you convert your dinette into a sleeper. And the, the platform doesn't move. <clears throat> Only the mattress does. And then if we look on both sides of the bed, I like these features. First of all, you've got a nice storage area right there. You notice there's a 110 outlet. So if you have a sleep machine, you've got room for it here. Down below, you also have another 110 and a couple of USB ports and another storage area here. And you actually have the very same setup on the other side of the bed. And as you can see here, more storage throughout. This cabinet is open all the way. There is so much room here. Uh, one of our reps told me he actually used this as his wardrobe. You know, him and his wife could get pretty much all their clothes in here, except for a few coats and, you know, some longer items so that they'd hang up. And then, uh, like I'd mentioned earlier, they put as much storage as they can. And I was kind of surprised to find this little area. But that's another nice little cabinet built in below your window. Now, when I got in here this morning, I turned the furnace on maybe half hour, 45 minutes ago, and it's already 72, 74 degrees, very warm in here on these smaller coaches it doesn't take as long to heat them but also it's it's a good testament as to how uh, how Numar insulates it these walls they are 16 inch on center 
aluminum framing with uh, batten insulation. It's the same wall construction they use in their high-end diesels. When you go to the Newmar factory, it's interesting to see a King era, you know, $1.3 million coach going down the assembly line and everybody working on it. Right behind it comes a Bay Star Sport. The same crew using the same uh, techniques, the way they build their walls, the way they build their floors, the way they insulate them. Every coach is built with, with just quality throughout. I mentioned it before, the slogan for Numar is when you know the difference, and it's more than just a slogan. They do things, especially in an entry-level gas coach, you won't find in other manufacturers. Well, I think that's about it for, uh, for this one. Let me uh, give you my contact info here. Again, my name's Mark Love. Feel free to reach out to me on my cell phone if you would like, 970-631-0083. You can call or text if you have any questions or you want to get information on a particular unit. Uh, again, this is a 2022 based Star Sport 2813 model. Uh, drive careful out there, folks. It is winter and we're about to get a storm here in Colorado. Hope wherever you are, you're having nice weather. Like always, happy trails, my friends. We'll see you next time.